Hi guys, today I have for you my empties, which are now being transported around in this basket. I don't have tons of stuff, and a lot of this stuff, or a few things, um, I'm actually just throwing away, and I'm gonna just mention them so that you know that I didn't like them, I didn't use them up. Just realized that I've just filmed an entire video with my necklace the wrong way around. Style statement. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of lush bath bombs, so I'm gonna whiz through those first of all. Um, I have Butter Bear, which is one of my favourites because I really love the Butter Ball. This is slightly smaller, slightly cheaper, but it does exactly the same thing. So I'm going to go back and get some more of these in case they are actually Christmas ones because it's slightly cheaper to buy them that way. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, it happens sometimes. Um, I really like this because it smells really nice, like shea butter, cocoa butter kind of smell, but it also leaves me feeling coated, let's say. It has slight residue, but not enough for it to be slimy and awful. Next, I don't know what this one was. Comforter. I actually let the kids use this because I'm not a big bubble bath fan, but they loved it. They used to use it um, kind of obviously under running water, but I also used to let them have kind of a chunk of it, and Milo would paint himself with it. So if you have kids, and it stains a little bit, um, and if you have kids, then Lush is just a fun thing for kids anyway, but I think that especially the bubble bars are really, really fun. Um, this one was Northern Lights Bath Bomb. I wasn't as impressed with this as I thought I would be. It smelled nice. Remembering. Um, it smelled nice, but I'd kind of seen pictures and it, mine just didn't seem to do the spectacular things that other people seem to do. So it was okay, but not one I would necessarily run out and get again. Um, Sunnyside. This again was a bubble bar the kids used. They really liked this because it was really sparkly. It was a golden one. Um, and this alongside something else, which might be this one, but this one's been completely ripped. I think this one was the, is it called Night Sky? Um, and Night Sky actually left the whole bath. Once the kind of top of the, the foamy, colourful whatever had gone, the actual bath water was sparkly. And I don't mean like glittery and you think, oh my God, how is this gonna get out of my bath? But you know, you know like when you see dust in the air and it's just, you're aware of it, it's kind of moving, but you know that not everybody can see it. It's like one of those kind of things. Like I was looking in the bath like, Am I going mad or is it sparkly? It was just constantly moving because it was in the water and just, it was magical. And I think that that was, if it's called Night Sky, then that one, but I, it might be called something else. Um, but the sunny side did a similar thing, but it was more actual glitter. Um, and I didn't, I, I don't really get how to use that as a bubble bar because it was quite difficult to break up because it's little. I don't know if you're supposed to use the whole thing, but I just let them have at it. And again, they painted themselves with it. My children are strange. Um, next, on to the things that I actually used. Uh, this, I have just finished up, and I say I finished it up, I think I have two left that are on my side, but I thought since it is the end of the year and I got it at Christmas last year, I'll just kind of empty it all out and throw this away. So I thought I'd show you it. It came with all of these miniature, you just have to imagine them because they're not here right now. Um, all of these miniature Aromatherapy Associates bath oils. Absolutely amazing way of trialing them. They have something similar this year. They do something similar every year. Um, but anything where you can get minis at Christmas, it's such, not, it's not so much more affordable, but it is, if you want to try lots of different ones, because it's like £35-ish for a full bottle, um, which is only 30 mil, but it does last a long time. The Deep Sleep one I got this time last year, I still haven't used up, because I use it sparingly, but I, you really don't need a lot of it. Um, but I think of a way of trying lots of different ones, and this had all different ones in it, anything from, um, like, waking you up ones, going to sleep, helping you breathe. I had a couple of them that had kind of like eucalyptus and things that would help you breathe. So if I had a cold, they were brilliant and not something I would want to buy a full bottle of, but nice to have minis of. So if you can get one of these this year, it won't be exactly the same, but one of these where you get lots of testers, I would definitely recommend it. If I can find one, I'll link it below because that one won't be available anymore. Um, next I have this Sensebar Nourishing Bath Soak. Really liked this actually. I used the scrub of this, not a big fan. Is that in here? No, I must have decided to use it up. Um, yeah, that, that wasn't that great, but the actual bath soap was very, very nice. Um, smelled nice. I used it as a shower gel occasionally, which is probably why I used it up so quickly. But it's, yeah, it smells quite orangey and but uplifting. I really liked that. Um, the thing that I'm throwing away, and I really wish that I'd loved this, because this was in the British Beauty Blogger box. Is it Latest in Beauty that does that? I'm not sure. Um, but she obviously curates those boxes and puts things in that she genuinely thinks are amazing. Um, and so I thought I would love it because I trust her judgment implicitly. And if I'd seen it on her blog, I probably would have gone out and bought it. And I'm really glad that I didn't now because I don't like it. It's the, I want to say it's Nipe. Because I think when I blogged about it, I looked it up and it was Nipe. 
but it looks like it should be nip. I don't know. I think it's nipe, how you spell it, but I, how you pronounce it, but I don't know. Um, and it's a bath oil, but it's lemon bath oil. I'm sure the other ones are great. I know that you can get lavender ones and stuff, um, but this was just not very nice. It smells exactly like a lemon sherbet, but that like, might sound like it's a nice thing, but to me, not so much. Really didn't like it at all. And it turns the bath water fluorescent yellow. It looks like someone's had an accident in the bath, put it that way. It's it's just not very nice and I'm throwing it away. Um, I wouldn't be put off trying something else from them, but I would definitely not get the lemon one. Um, next, I nearly finished this and I decided I'm just gonna throw it because I'm not using it up. And it's the Bare Minerals Naturally Luminous Purifying Facial Cleanser. And I got this last year for Christmas from Laura and I'm assuming it came as kind of a sample when she bought me my um, brush set and the makeup bag which is amazing and you have all commented on it at some point it's the kind of rose gold I have it wait I can just pull it out from the side ta-da it came with brushes in it I'll give you an example of one of them how cute is that but the actual makeup bag is amazingly useful um, brush section makeup section I use every time I have to go anywhere for a substantial amount of time not like a night away um, but kind of for a week or something I will use that bag because it's so great for the compartments and stuff but anyway that's by the by. I think she must have got this because it was a random addition. Unless she bought it, I don't know. But I'm assuming she got this as a sample. And it's just, it it makes my skin feel so tight and not nice. It just, it's not moisturising at all. And it's just very, ugh. it's not very nice on my skin at all. And given that I used to like that, it's, it's kind of, it's just disappointing. Because Bare Minerals, you would think it would be really, really nice and I didn't like it at all. Balance Me, on the other hand, I have another sample this size, and I think I'm going to have to buy the full size of this because it's so, so nice. It's Cleanse and Smooth Face Balm. This is basically um, a cleanse and polish. It's a, what do we call it? Balm thing. A balm cleanser. Hot cloth cleanser. It's one of those. And it reminds me a lot of the Boots one that we used to all get. <sighs> I just filmed a video and I was just like, bleh, bleh can't remember the words for anything, what is happening. The video, by the way, will be up on Wednesday, and it is this face of makeup. Poked myself there with that. That wasn't a great idea. Poked myself. This video, Wednesday, is a get ready with me of this makeup. It's also sponsored, FYI. It will say that in the title, but an extra pre-warning for those of you that really have a problem with that. Uh, but the get ready with me itself has got nothing to do with the sponsorship. It's just I'm talking about something at the end, and there is a giveaway. So, total tangent, back to the balance me. Um, hot cloth cleanser, very very like the hot cloth cleanser. I can't even remember how I got off on that tangent now. Um, but, oh I know because I can't remember any of my words. The Boots, is it called, it's not Origins. What is it called? The Organics? Botanics! Botanics! Okay, the Boots Botanics used to do, or Botanicals? Botanics. Um, used to do um, a like a balm cleanser that was so, so nice. The one they have now is not very nice at all. And it was slightly grainy, but then it melted into the skin. It was so amazing. It smelled really nice. This is almost exactly the same, but it comes in a tube, which is so much easier. So you squeeze it out, use it. Awesome. I'm assuming this is not a lot of product because I went through this really, really quickly. It's partly probably that it's not a lot of product and partly because it's in a squeezy tube. So it's probably all clinging around the outside of the tube. And I'm tempted to break it open because it was that good. Um, but I would definitely recommend this. My skin is quite oily, but it says it's made for normal to dry slash sensitive skin. So I think this is probably suitable for all skin types. I, one of my favorite things I've used this year, I would say. Uh, next, something I'm throwing away because I don't like it is the Kerastase Nutritive Ban Satin is a shampoo. I got this in one of my beauty boxes, really didn't like it. It smells so soapy. I know that sounds mad because it's soap, it's shampoo, but you want it to smell a little bit nicer than soap, don't you? Um, especially because it's Garrett Stas, which is quite expensive. I would have been so disappointed if I bought this full price because it just feels cheap. It didn't feel particularly nice on my skin. On my skin. On my, well, it didn't feel nice on my skin either. It didn't feel nice on my hair to the point where it's almost full. I used it once and I'm going to throw it away because I just don't like it. And I just found these in the bottom of the basket for those wanting to know what the Aromatherapy Associates little minis look like. That's probably three baths the way I use it. You're probably supposed to use the whole thing but I'm very, very sparing with it because it's very powerful, very, very heavy the scent, and it's expensive, so I make it stretch. But it's, if you use the whole one, it would smell like that for a week, I swear. It's so strong, but massively, massively cannot say enough about our own therapy associates, especially at this time of year. I talk you to death about them, but you all need to try them, even if you just get one of those real mini star ones. Just give it a go because I'm telling you, I am not lying it is just one of the best things i've ever tried and one of those things that 
I really don't think that you can believe is as good as it is till you tried it for yourself. So that's it for my empties this month. Not very many festive things this month. Haven't used up very many kind of Christmassy stuff, but hopefully um, in January you'll see all of the festive stuff and be like, oh, Christmas is over now. This is not very irrelevant to anything. <laughs> That's generally how it works, isn't it? Um, I'm going to try and get some more festive Christmassy videos up next week since it's basically upon us. I thought I had more time than I did. So any particular suggestions or recommendations or things you want to see, let me know. Um, I do have a whole channel with Emma from It's Emma. It's Emma, she's called, I think she's called It's M channel now. Um, but we have a channel called Style and Toast, which we've done lots of Christmassy DIYs and stuff. And on Wednesday we have our DIY gift guide going up. So if you're interested in those kind of videos, check that out. We'll also be having Style at Any Size um, lookbook for Christmas this weekend, hopefully, because she's coming up. Um, but other than that, I will see you guys in my next video on Wednesday. And I hope you enjoyed this one. Bye!